And now I move on to another one. And you can't make me believe that God does not have a sense of humor. He made a law here that honestly, it was a good law, and it worked effectively, and we're going to see it in the book of Ruth. But it's the way God took care of widows, and it's almost humorous. In fact, to me, it's very humorous. Let me read this, verse 5. If brethren dwell together, and one of them die, and have no child, the wife of the dead shall not marry without unto a stranger. Her husband's brother shall go in unto her, and take her to him to wife, and perform the duty of a husband's brother under her. And it shall be that the firstborn which she beareth shall succeed in the name of his brother which is dead, that his name be not put out of Israel. Now, this was God's method of taking care of his people. In other words, he was protecting womanhood. Now, we hear a great deal about women's rights today. Well, God thought they had some rights also. Now, here is a man, and we need to get this right down and see it in its application in that land. Here is a man living in that land, and he dies. He's a farmer. Most of those people, they either were dealing in agriculture or they were dealing in animals. They were raising sheep or oxen. And suppose this man dies. He leaves a big farm, a lot of wheat, a lot of corn. And also, he has sheep, and he has oxen. Now, that poor widow, she's not able to take care of all of that. Now, here's a man maybe from another tribe, or even a man from outside, a foreigner who wants to marry her. But no, she's not permitted to marry outside. But she has a privilege that's quite unique for a widow. This is a case where the widow does the proposing. What she can do is to go and claim one of her husband's brothers. And if it's not a brother, a cousin. She can go to the nearest relative, or any one of them she wants to go to, and say, look, I've chosen you. And it's just the same as asking him to marry her. And that's what he'd have to do, by the way, or almost have to do. It'd be a disgrace to him if he didn't. Mary. Now, notice this, how it went into operation. Verse 7, And if the man like not to take his brother's wife. Now, here's a man that said, Look, I told my brother when he fell in love with this girl, because he's a sickly fella, I said to him, I don't want you to marry her, because if something happens to you, I don't want to marry her. Then what can the poor man do? Then let his brother's wife go up to the gate unto the elders and say, my husband's brother refuseth to raise up unto his brother a name in Israel. He'll not perform the duty of my husband's brother. Now, she can take him into court, you see. If he refuses, she just takes him right into court. And she tells it like it is. Then the elders of the city shall call him and speak unto him. And if he stand to it and say, I like not to take her. Now, suppose when he's brought into court, he says, I don't like this at all. 